8 a.m. I just woke up. I'm so tired. Waking up is so hard at the moment. I, yeah. Oh, I actually hate doing it so much. I am ready to get ready for the day. I'm gonna put in my AirPods. I just spilled my coffee twice which was pretty annoying I'm gonna take you through my day of revision today um, it is currently the first week of the Easter vac technically my first day of revision they haven't released like the exact dates of the exams yet but I expect they them to start like around like the end of May so yeah I have exams um, in about like two to three months ish so yeah um i'm feeling like uh, okay about it i have five papers which are going to be like reasonably spread out which is like significantly fewer than last year so that's really good um so yeah i'm going to take you through my first day of revision um i'm going to do probably focus on mathematical biology today i don't usually switch subjects like during the day when i'm revising so i just really like to get like stuck in with one so i'm going to do mathematical biology just gonna study in my room because taking you guys with me today um and yeah just gonna be like relaxed studying in my room i have to take care of like a brand video as well have one hour of tutoring at like 5 30 um and yeah let's see what we get up to i am going to eat a rescue pastel. I don't have that many left. Um, yeah, so I bought these during like a week in the term, in last term, like in Hillary term, where I don't know why I was just like really overthinking everything and just being like really unrationally anxious. Um, so I saw that these were on Amazon and apparently they're meant to like soothe you when you're really stressed. And um... I've seen some like really positive reviews, but for me, they just don't work at all. Like if I'm stressed, it does not make me feel any better. They taste nice. Um, so I'm just gonna finish the pack. Probably not gonna buy any more. I just took a break and ate lunch i don't usually skip breakfast but today i did because i had like kind of like a cheat day yesterday i ate like 20 nuggets and a small chips for dinner and like caramel buttons oh they were so good i thought that i would like talk to you about what revision i'm doing so um essentially i'm using like these are my notes for mathematical biology and once I've gone through it, because these are just rough notes, I'm just like crossing through so I can see clearly like which parts that I've done. I kind of went through it like roughly once, but I left like some gaps like like proving like small results. I kind of just went over like the main examples. So now I'm just going through and like crossing off like every small part that I like missed out the first time. And also on my iPad, I am using like two apps. So the first app that I'm using is Cardflow Plus. So essentially I have like different boards for each subject that I'm doing. Um, so for example, for like further mathematical biology, I am just like making some notes. So I just like wrote this from the lecture notes. This is just proving that single species models without delays cannot exhibit limit cycle behavior. And then on the other side, I'll just write like prove that so that then when I'm testing myself I can make sure that I know it so yeah these are usually like either like definitions or small proofs I also use like the notability app and on here I just have like all of the worked examples because for applied maths there are like so many worked examples and I feel like once you really understand like all of the worked examples in the lecture notes then like doing the past paper questions and like the um problem sheet questions are like 
usually based on like one of the worked examples so i'm just going through all of them making sure that i know all of them and i'm also like writing down like the recipes for like each type of question so if you guys haven't checked out the video like i shared like the study tips um from my oxford tutors that they always told us to do like during the years i've been here so far definitely check that out because that's what i'm doing now and i really feel like it's useful so i'm gonna try and do from chapter two to chapter five today because it's like not that hard and then that would just leave like chapter six seven and eight for the rest of this week i feel like most like at least like math students at oxford would be the same in that like when it gets to like week seven and eight like the material's hard you also just like lose motivation because it's the end of the term and like barely anyone goes to lectures and like you hand in the problem sheet at the start of next term or well, like it doesn't really matter if you hand it in or not and like you know stuff like that so um usually the last section of the course is like a lot weaker than like the first section so i'm just gonna try and get through the first section because i put in my revision diary that i'm going to do like today went up until friday so today's tuesday i'm gonna do like tuesday wednesday thursday friday on this course so that leaves me like a good amount of time to get through like the last three chapters because of my like statistics focus especially this year it meant that i've done a lot of like coding in r so um i feel like especially this year when i've gotten a lot more experience at it i really like started to enjoy it a lot obviously coding is a skill that is like so useful in so many jobs at the moment and because you know it is coming to the end of my degree and i feel like now is a really good time for me to like really start to get my head around another coding language so in particular python which is why I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So Skillshare is the largest online learning community. Whether you want to learn like productivity, like journaling, self-care, coding, sewing, Skillshare has you covered. It is a completely on-demand platform so you can just like go and learn when you have time completely at your own pace. When I first started using Skillshare, the first course that I ever took was the Learning Pathway, Python for Beginners learn the fundamentals of computer science this class was going over object oriented programming and i loved all the work examples and how easy they were to follow hands-on practice is also my favorite way to learn so i love that it also included those if you want to start your learning journey today the first 500 people who will use the link in my description box down below will get a one month trial of skillshare completely for free I'm about to do tutoring in four minutes um so i've just been doing some like finance reading uh, about like current what the markets are currently doing and just like refreshing my mind so yeah i will catch up with you guys after tutoring so um i have tutoring from like 5 30 to 6 30 so i will catch up with you guys after <laughs> Six forty-five. I just finished tutoring, which was really good. Did some interesting questions, made a lot of progress, so that was really good. I'm planning on like cooking tonight and like doing some meal prep, but honestly, like I'm I can't really be bothered. So I might just like heat up my spaghetti bolognese or something. I also just cleared out my inbox, which is always such a good feeling. You know one like study material that I did not expect to like as much as I do which is actually just like a mini whiteboard because um, I actually got this when I was preparing for my dissertation presentation because I wanted to write some things on the board in the actual presentation. Um, I've wanted it for a while but that was like the final reason that made me buy it. It's not like so overpriced on Amazon. Oh look. 
still have notes at the back like when I was preparing um, and I actually just love it so much like um, if I'm like reading through something for the first time I'll just like be jotting things down like I know like say dn by dt is equal to f of n of t or something like that like I can just like write something small like this and then like make some rough notes you can use both sides like it's really small so it's really good that like you can use both sides it does save like a lot of paper because it used to like really annoy me like when i was like writing on like loads of sheets of paper and i just be there at the end of the day with like a large pile of like scrap paper but now i can just like write it on the board also um i always get asked like if i prefer making notes digitally or on paper so i actually like change between them like nearly all the time like I always fluctuate between like a phase where I love digital notes and then a phase where I love paper notes so for me right now I'm in my digital era because like for me when I'm like going through material a lot of the time like I'll want to like I'll write out like a proof or some working and then like whilst I'm like understanding it and then I want to like go back and change what I just wrote and I feel like on paper that's like really hard to do and I also feel like sometimes like I don't know how much space to leave like for example if I'm like oh I'm kind of confused on this but I might come back to it I don't know how much paper to leave and then it's like not enough or like there's like a large gap and that just like really annoys me like if it doesn't annoy you then that's good you can use paper but then like it just like things like that really annoy me and if I do it digitally then I can just like prevent all of that so I do scrap working on my whiteboard and then sometimes when I'm like doing a past paper or something I'll do it on paper um, and then like notes and flashcards are done on my iPad this is the Pro 11 which I'm really liking <laughs> midnight and i've just been procrastinating here all i want to do is watch another episode of like the border security show that i'm like obsessed with right now um i'm just like okay you can watch like one episode a day i don't know why i get obsessed with things like this like it's so repetitive and i know exactly what's going to happen in each episode which like potentially could be the reason why i like it i'm not sure but like finally stop procrastinating and go and wash my hair one thing that really helps when i'm like really procrastinating is to like count down from three so i'd be like three two one get up and then like that just like gives i don't know why it's like all in my head but it just feels like easier if i do that i don't know i don't know why for me like having a shower i think is like where i'm like peak anxious i don't know why i feel like because i'm like alone with like just my thoughts and i can't like distract myself with like music or working or like doing something else basically like i went home this weekend and i was so tired um like straight after the end of term i feel like that is just like so normal it's like a moisturizer i went home slept in my own bed for like two days and then came back on monday i went home on friday so i had like a long weekend at home and then i'm just here to like do some work i feel like so many oxford students especially in like third year and fourth year um stay in oxford like during the vac instead of going home um i'm doing a mix i'm gonna stay in oxford for like the first half and then i'm going into london for a bit of next week and then i'm gonna go home i think potentially after that i love this overnight lip repair um it's the only time that i wear lip balm so i can't really be bothered usually but i just wear this like over the night and then i don't wear anything <laughs> during the day and i love the smell of this so good cherry blossom scent and it makes my hands so soft because my hands get like so dry again the only time that i do all this stuff is like every night like i do not even wear hand cream because like i tried wearing hand cream when i'm studying before and i can just feel like the pen like sliding around in my hand cream hand also retainers i wear these every night a lot later than i would have liked but i'll probably just wake up at like eight tomorrow so that's all fine see 
loads of boxes show that it's still here even though it's the back i love you guys hope you enjoyed following my day and i'll see you guys very soon